Lord, we see you in person. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. Praise Amen. Praise Amen. Today, uh, I ask that you would turn to me. It's going to be a little lengthy because I have the whole scripture to read plus what God given me. So I ask that we get started in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I, I'm Minister Mango for, for those out. I'm Minister Antoinette. Amen. God Amen. bless you. Amen. At this time, I'm going to ask you to please turn to 2 Kings. Chapter 5. And we're going to be reading that in its entirety. Amen. Uh, I know I put somebody on the spot. I... <laughs> Minister Shields, yes. I am sorry I didn't get with you earlier, but would you please, for, for time's sake, would you please, could I have you to read that? Okay. If you don't mind. Could I have you to read its um, chapter 2 Kings 5? And it's a target, if you can. Okay. If you can do it. Amen. Amen. Sorry, I didn't get with you. No, that's just okay. I was standing here. Forgive me. Amen. Let me, Second Kings chapter 5, let me know by saying amen, if, when everyone is ready. Amen. 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 Now, I, I will be reading from the King James Version. Amen. Once again, I apologize for not coming to you earlier. That's okay. Amen. 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 Second Kings chapter 5, starting at verse 1. Now Naaman, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his masters and honorable, because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor, but he was a leper. And the Syrians had gone out by companies and had brought away captive out of the land of Israel a little maid. And she waited on Naaman's wife. And she said unto her mistress, Would God, my Lord, were with the prophet that is in Samaria, for he would recover him of his leprosy. And one went in and told his Lord, saying, Thus and thus said the maid, that is of the land of Israel. And the king of Syria said, Go to, go, and I will send a letter unto the king of Israel. And he departed and took with him ten talents of silver and six thousand pieces of gold and ten changes of raiment. And he brought the letter to the king of Israel, saying, Now when this letter is come unto thee, behold, I have therewith sent Naaman, my servant, to thee, that thou mayest recover him of his leprosy. Mm. And it came to pass, when the king of Israel had read the letter, that he rent his clothes and said, Am I God to kill and to make alive, that this man doth send unto me to recover a man of his leprosy? Wherefore, consider, I pray you, and see how he seeketh a quarrel against me. And it was so when Elisha, the man of God, had heard that the king of Israel had rent his clothes, that he sent to the king, saying, Wherefore hast thou rent thy clothes? Let him come now to me, and he shall know that there is a prophet in Israel." So Naaman came with his horses and with his chariot and stood at the door of the house of Elisha. And Elisha sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go and wash in Jordan seven times, and thy flesh shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. But Naaman was wroth and went away and said, Behold, I thought he will surely come out to me, and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God, and strike his hand over the place, and recover the leper. Jesus. Are not Abana and Farpar rivers of Damascus mm -hmm. better than all the waters of Israel? May I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in a rage. And his servants came near and spake unto him and said, My father, if the prophet had bid thee to do some great thing, 
Wouldest thou not have done it? How much rather then, when he saith to thee, Wash and be clean? Jesus. Then went he down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God. Mm -hmm. And his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. Okay, I said flesh. That's also the spirit come from. So I said a whole bit. Amen. I heard it. That's it. That's it. Amen. Thank you. You're Amen. welcome. Amen. The title of the message God wants to just leave with you is a thought. It may be pretty, but it's not where your miracle is. Amen. 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 It may be pretty. Amen. But it's not where your miracle is. Amen. We have been given a wonderful gift from God. And among the many gifts we are given, the one gift that is very special is called the gift of free will. Amen. God did not want robots. And how many of us that are in this place, you know, uh, any type, a job or whatever, we wouldn't want it to be given to us out of duress. Amen. You know, I, I wouldn't want you to give me something just because I made you give it to me. Uh -huh. Amen. I, 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 would want, I want you to give it freely. Yes. But I want to have to hold a gun to your head and make you give it. <laughs> to me, it's not special if Praise that happens. Amen. Amen. So God, in his mercy, is like that. He, he, he gives us a gift of free will. Now, with this gift, there are certain consequences with that gift. It can even have a positive consequence. When we hear the word consequence, sometimes we automatically think of negative. Yes, yes. You know, it's going to be consequences. Jesus. And we automatically think of the negative. Amen. But consequences are sometimes positive consequences. Mm -hmm. Consequences are just the things that happen from you doing what you do or the choice you made. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So with that free will, we can either have positive or negative consequences. Amen. If our choice is bad, then we deal with the fallout of our bad choice. If a woman chooses to marry a man, if she makes a bad choice, Jesus. she deals with the fallout of that choice. Jesus. If it's positive, if she chooses to give her life to Christ, choose a good career, she deals with the the part, the, the, the uh, uh, blessings of that choice. Amen. If it's a wise choice, then we are blessed by that choice. Amen. Human nature, though, has a tendency to choose the most comfortable route. <laughs> Human, human nature. Mm -hmm. We just tend to choose the most comfortable yes, we for do. us. Yes, Amen. We Amen. Amen. Yes, we do. And, and, and we be choose to choose. I mean, who in their natural mind would choose something that brings difficulties? Jesus. I mean, you know, nobody yes. in their right mind would go out and no. choose something that's going to make you suffer. No, they Amen. Wouldn't. Amen. 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 But God tells us in his word that his ways are not our ways. And his thoughts are so much higher. Uh -huh. Amen. Can I so much higher? Amen. So much higher. So, so, much, much, higher. Higher. so much higher. Then our thoughts in his ways so much higher than our ways. Amen. That is in Isaiah chapter 55 verse 8. Amen. And so God and his will puts us in situations where we would have never chosen for ourselves. But once we're in it and we go through it, we have the testimony that Job had. We've heard of him with the hearing of the ear. Mm -hmm. But now our eyes see him. Jesus. Amen. Amen. How many can testify to me this, or, or said to me this afternoon that you have had that situation? Yes. We're in a situation that you would have never chosen for yourself. I mean, uh -huh. if you could have a conference with God. I remember one of the preachers said he wanted to call God in his office and say, now let's just discuss this. Is this going to kill me or what? <laughs> But now let's just discuss this. I mean, Jesus. I got you here. I ordered you a nice shrimp cocktail. And yes. we had the whole evening together. Now tell me what's going on. Jesus. Are you going to let this kill me or what you're going to do? Jesus. Amen. Amen. But through those situations, we, we come to see that, as Job said, I've heard of you with the hearing of the ear, but yes. now my eye see you. Amen. 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 That's Job chapter 42, verse 5. In today's scripture, we read of... Naaman facing one of those situations. He found himself at a point where he had to choose between a pretty place or his miracle. And he was about to throw it all away. Oh my God. Because the place wasn't pretty and because he knew of a better way. You know, it's something when you, you are given a, a way out with no choice. I mean, you either take this or that's it. Jesus. But he and his mind had another choice. Jesus. Yes, yes. You know, why can't I go to the Barnard River or the Park Farm River? Uh -huh. They're more beautiful than any of the, the place you're telling me to go. Uh -huh. I mean, why, why are we 
you gonna go there? I, I, I know Potiphar and, and Bali, they're more beautiful than this. Jesus. So he was about to throw it all away. Jesus. But God in his mercy, Thank you for us. in his mercy, can I remember how many of you can remember God in his mercy in your situation? Yes. 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 How many can remember God in his mercy? Yes. In, 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 in his situations. He told you don't say this and go Jesus. here and do this. And you listen and you're glad you did. Jesus, Lord. You're glad you listened. Yes. yes. Amen. God said, don't do this. God said, this is what's going to happen. Stay away from this. Do this. Jesus. And you listen. Yes. Uh -huh. And you're here today because you listen. Amen. 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 And you're so glad you did. So God is best to use one of the young soldiers to say, yes, he did. Uh, 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 my father. Come on. Jesus. My father. Yes, if he had told you to do some big thing. That's what he said. Jesus. And we yes. didn't read yes. it, but we... we those who have read the scripture know what, what Naaman had brought with him. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, th th that was big money during that time. Uh -huh. Jesus. He brought some expensive stuff. Uh -huh. yes, and yes, this day did. will be uh, equal to good or proxy. He was a man, uh, I'm not familiar with all the men, but uh, 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 Oscar De Lorenzo, and I may mean, be way back there dating myself, but the, the fancy things that yes, men yes, wear. Yes. He, in essence, he brought that stuff. That, yes, that, that expensive stuff on the darkest. Oh, Jesus. And money. Uh -huh. yes. I don't need for him to chase because he brought money. Uh -huh. So the, 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 God used the soldier to remind him, said, if you had told you some great thing to do, you would have done it. Jesus. How, how, how simple is it to just go wash in this, this nasty water? Mm -hmm. Jesus. This dirty water and, be, and, and see what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you're itching anyway. Why well, go back home itching? Mm -hmm. oh, Jesus. I mean, you, you can't have sleep at night. Jesus. Turn it at night. Every time you try to sleep, the itch wake you up. Jesus. How do you have the itch to wake them up? Oh, uh -huh. Jesus. Uh -huh. You wanted to sleep, but the itch. Uh -huh. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, you ain't yeah. out the real day, but the itch. Uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. Jesus. Woke you up. Jesus. Just come just to hear what they boys sound like. Jesus. Jesus. Well, I said, you're you going to be nice. You're going to be calm. Just tell her what you think. I mean, you ain't no uh, fool is not written on your head. When your mama birthed you out, she, the fool was nowhere on your back. Come on, take it and now you go and tell them that this is, this is the situation. Uh -huh. Jesus. No, no, it's not going down like this. Mm -hmm. No. Now, you think you're going to step on me? Welcome is not on my chest. I am not a welcome man. Mm. And when I see, I say this in other messages, when I see them, I'm going to simply let them know. But God spoke to you and you're still, his still, sweet voice said, leave it alone. Hold it alone. Yes, yes. And you're so glad you did because in essence you found it was the way of life. Mm. You thought. Oh, yeah. man. And when the issue boiled down, if you had gone on the approach like that, people would have been looking at you like, what in the world is wrong with you? Jesus. Jesus. Mm. You would have been the one that was oh, yes. out of character because they said, what are you talking about? It was never like that. Uh -huh. But Satan pushed you up and showed you his stuff. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. Amen. So, so how, many, how many times are we glad we listened to the voice? So Naaman followed the divine instructions Amen. and received his miracle. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. In the scripture, as I forestated, Naaman complained that it wasn't a pretty place. Yes, he did. It wasn't yes, a pretty did. river. Uh -huh. And I remember, I think it was a little longer than last our Sunday, Sister Overseer spoke of the, 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 the message. She spoke of Naaman's healing. Yes. And she pointed out that you complained that you had rivers over there rather <laughs> than this. Yes, he then did. Why didn't you go just dip in one of those? Well, well, yes. yes. Amen. Yes. Uh -huh. Evidently. <laughs> why, yeah, why didn't you go and give one of Why you didn't? Because the instruction didn't come to you. You had no clue that uh -huh. you were to do this. So you were still in the box. Jesus. Still scratching at your pretty river. Jesus. Mm. Oh, my Lord. You had a beautiful river, but you were still scratching. Yes, Lord. Tell me, tell The river was going up and down. How I many love water? Am I the only one here that loves to see a beautiful uh -huh. water? Oh, 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 yes. It's so beautiful. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, when we be looking at it, I see so seas. Calm. Of river water, and I was going to see a man and say, Oh, that's so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. yes. I, I, I have almost got beaten the high water. <laughs> so I confess to you, one of my situations when I was a child was water. Uh -huh. water. I, I, I didn't, <laughs> come on. I did not deserve that. Come on. <laughs> I did not deserve that some water needed to stay where it was. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and some water don't belong on your chest and all on your clothes. That's not where the water belonged, but I didn't know that. Jesus. All I saw was the water that was pretty, and here I go. Until I heard, hey, for that! <laughs> and I was saying, uh oh, mm -mm. I'm in trouble. <laughs> but I heard that word, hey, for that! <laughs> you made me subconscious, that's why to this day I said, call me Tommy. <laughs> You know, my father didn't like Robert, I don't know why. Uh -huh. But maybe subconsciously, I, I, I said, 
Call me Tony. Because when I hear Ash with that, that don't bring good memories. Oh, Jesus. It's not a good day for me. <laughs> hey, Amen. That water. The, those, the water was beautiful then. So clear, maybe. Maybe. Because you know, I never saw that river. But maybe it was so crystal clear. Her just said the water's at the Bahamas. And St. Thomas and St. Croix are so beautiful. Yes. That they're crystal clear. It's so blue that you can just look like that at the bottom. Oh, yes. Beautiful water. Uh huh. Yes. But he was still scratching. Yes, he was. Uh -huh. All that beauty around him, but he was still scratching. Still scratching. Yes, he was. Amen. So, so he, he followed the, the divine and mission as he was healed. But it wasn't where his miracle was. That, that beautiful water, as I first said, it wasn't where his miracle was. And, and here is the danger when you go for the pretty. Mm. If you go for the pretty, you go to, you're at the mercy of your situation. Yes, you are. Now, now, as back in, uh, repeating myself, if never went for the pretty, mm -hmm. if he had not listened to that, to that soldier, and said, I don't care what you said, this is nasty, bugs are in this water, it stinks, and I'm not going in that water. I don't care what you said, I ain't going in there. But it went home, still scratched. Yes, he would. Yes, he would. Yes, he would. And how many have studied leprosy? Mm. Leprosy doesn't have a good end. No, no, it no, doesn't. At the end of leprosy is what? Death. 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 Jesus. So if he went for the pretty, Jesus. he was at the mercy of his situation. Mm -hmm. Following the pretty causes frustration. How many of us have had something like a simple toothache, a simple pain? And we get frustrated because we're ready for this to go. How long is it going to last? And if you don't pray, Satan uses that frustration. Yes, yes it does. To yes, make does. you accuse God. Tie two and three together. It brings frustration if you go for the pretty. And along with that frustration comes, the, 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 you give Satan the power. We have someone here that used to say, don't give him the bullets. Amen. He already Amen. got a gun. Why are you going to give him the bullets? He already got the R45. <laughs> he already got the AK-48. Yes. Why are you going to give him the bullets? Jesus. Amen. Jesus. So if you go for the prick, Jesus. you give him the bullets because he's not going to let you see what you didn't do. You know, and it's amazing to me. Backtrack, I'll get back to this. You know, people have situations that I'm not knocking it. There are situations that if you don't pray, mm. they will bring you to your knees. Oh, yes. You know, oh, yes. you are still dealing in the flesh. Every, every time somebody says, be strong to this, I point them to the God of the sin. Mm. Now, I often say Jesus was everything Jesus was. Mm. You know what Jesus was. Oh, yes. He, he was, he, he was, what he was. He, he was a total, uh -huh. end all, be all. Everything that was to be, Jesus was. Uh -huh. Came from the Father. Yes. But the Father was, he was. Yes. 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 But in the God of the sin, what did he say? Let this cup pass. That's what he said. Some things he just come to God and say, God, can't you let this pass? Jesus. I, I, I'll be all right. You don't, you don't have to give me this mm. in our flesh. That's, that's, and yes. Jesus was having one of those moments. So there are times if we don't pray, situations will bring us to that point. Uh -huh. But we ask God for the strength of the never, nevertheless. Yes. Yes. He found the strength from the Father. He said, nevertheless, not Jesus. my will. Amen. Jesus. But thy will Amen. be done. Yes. So, so when you go for the pretty, uh, uh, it, it, it invites him, Satan in to, to uh, 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 accuse God. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. He comes beside you and says, Now, after all God do. Yes. Now, sometimes if we don't pray, the, 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 the vastness and, and everything God could do will, will get in front of us because some things we say, My God, as powerful as you are. I knew of someone mm -hmm. who prayed desperately. That was their hope. They, they prayed for a certain thing to happen. Jesus. And when they looked back, God told them. God gave them a choice. He said, I'll either do this mm. or I'll do this. And we want something so much of time that God will tell us that. Sometimes we block out the other. Jesus. Mm -hmm. We don't even consider the other. Uh -huh. God said, I will either do this or I'll do that. Jesus. And we, we, we block out the I'll do that. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yes. We don't even consider the I'll do Jesus. that. Now, when God tells you, I'm going to do this, and there's no option, then you hold on and fight. Uh -huh. But pray when God says, I'll either do this, uh -huh. or I'll do that. Jesus. Uh -huh. we, 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 in our mind, we block out the I'll do that. Yes. We, we yes. don't even consider the I'll do that. There ain't nowhere where my heart is, God. My heart is nowhere near the I'll do that. Mm. So I'm just going to block it out. I'm just going to make it like it never happens. Jesus. But what happens when the I'll do that appears? Mm -hmm. My Lord, God. And in this situation, the I'll do that appears Jesus. in this case. And 
It was a struggle. Jesus. Because this was what this person prayed for. And Satan will come and say, now, out of all the people that he feels, out of all the people he raised and he saved, he couldn't do that for you. Jesus. And sometimes dealing with the human, you got to stop and think about these things. Because being ministers, being people, people are going to confront, confront us with this. Mm -hmm. You mean God couldn't do this? Yes, God couldn't will. do that? Yes, they will. So it's all in his will. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's, got, it's a fight to submit to his will. It's a fight to, to go with what he decides to do that. Amen. We praise him for the I'll do this. Mm -hmm. we, can, we can shout in oh, that yes. all day long. Oh, yes. The I'll do this. We can, oh, we, we can turn the church up on that. Mm -hmm. But when it does, I'll do, do that. Yeah. That's what we pray and struggle. Yes, yes. That's what I'm telling you. We have to be honest. We, we can't be helped. One thing the Alcoholic Anonymous do. I, it's another thing. They, uh, another step they need to go, but they say you cannot be helped mm -hmm. until you admit you have a problem. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's one of the steps to getting help. When you say I acknowledge I have this problem, yes. Jesus. That's it. Some of us, I'm right. Mm -hmm. well, but no, yes. it's just that I don't want this. It's just. A, Amen. Break the barrel down. I'm prideful. My mom was prideful. My whole family is prideful. Amen. No matter what we be, could be sitting with three, five men. We're going to put our heads up. And walk strut. <laughs> and, and this is what they say. I, I, uh -huh. I said this. You may be a person that likes it. I'm going to put it this way. You like to sleep around, uh -huh. but you be a proud one. Uh -huh. You may be an alcoholic, but you be a proud uh -huh. alcoholic. Uh -huh. When you stumble, put your head up as you stumble. Uh -huh. You're going to stumble all the way around. <laughs> <laughs>
you. Pay, pay, pay. My goodness. Your neighbor shot dead. It's a pretty place, mm. but it wasn't where yes. your miracle is. Uh -huh. I, I want you to go with me in the Word. We're going to have some more people uh -huh. who the situations weren't pretty, mm. but it was where their miracle was. Amen. Mm. Number one, Mark 5. We're going to be in Mark. And I'm not going to read it for time's sake. But when you find it, that's the story of the demoniac. Jesus. Oh my God. Now, how many know a tomb is not a beautiful place? No, what is it? How many of us will, will look at somebody strange if they say, I, I, I want to take you riding? And you know the person. I mean, you all are close. Mm -hmm. And, Mr. you're not going to do this, but can I just use you as an example? You're not going to do this. <laughs> Amen. Over here, Minister Bango, y'all want to go riding? Well, you know, overseas very, but maybe for that day, uh -huh. for the sake of the analogy. But yeah, Serena, I'll go riding. Yeah, Rita, you know I'm ready to go. Uh -huh. Put us in the car, <laughs> and, 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 and you, it's a way you can come out of us ahead of the Chesapeake. You come from where we live and go straight down past Garrett's, uh -huh. go through Tate Terrace, go over to Capistella Bridge. Oh, we go to Chesapeake? Yes, we go to Chesapeake. Mm. Past Capistella Road and get to Roosevelt, mm -hmm. Memorial yeah. Park. Oh, Lord. Jesus. Rena. <laughs> well, she's Mr. Doe, but we call her. This uh -huh. is Rena. Rena, well, where are you taking us? It's pretty. Don't you want to see this? Look at the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> we going to give you five minutes. <laughs> Yes, it is. 
as a baby skin. Yes. Amen. Now, how many know a baby skin is very soft? It's very yes, good. Yes, it is. Yes. He went from leprosy to a baby skin. Yes, yes. Because yes. he humbled himself and went to the other place and received his miracle. Mm. So, whatever you're going through, it may not be a pretty place. Mm. But if it's where your miracle is, it'll be pretty after a while. Amen. May God bless you real good. And remember, it may, be not, it may not be pretty, but it's where your miracle may be. Amen. 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 Amen.